Marilyn, there's so many emotions that come up mm -hmm. as yeah. we're dealing with our kids. And I mean, my reaction has been to just kind of push them away and mm -hmm. try to focus on the task. Yeah. Uh, is there a better option? Well, I think most of us as parents, and in my case, grandparent, like to get rid of the feelings because they get in our way. Mm. They slow us down, they stop our progress, they don't get us to work on time. So the emotions that a child feels often interrupts us. Mm -hmm. So our first uh, gear is to say, you know, that's, we don't have time for that. You know, put on your face and let's get to school. And so we're really stifling children's feelings. And yet, you know, we're delivering these children to their next setting with the residue of those feelings. Mm. And if we remember that, that this isn't going to go away. There's a residue of that feeling that we've stifled to get mm. to our jobs and to our work. So I think that it's really important to realize that there's a lot of information in that feeling for your child. Mm. If they're nervous about going to school and there's fear in them and we're telling them, you know, put on your, your, big your girl best face, face yeah. put on your big girl face, then we're, we're missing an opportunity to kind of harvest the resource of that feeling for them. So as parents, I, I like to think of us as coaches. Mm -hmm. Parent as coach helps the child understand the resource of that feeling. And it might take this much longer to get through it, mm -hmm. but in the process, you're also teaching the child mm -hmm. the message of the feeling, the resource that feelings are, rather than they get in our way. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's really important to use that resource. When I've heard you say when somebody has feelings, oh, there's big feelings. Yeah. It's not that mm -hmm. it's good, it's not that it's bad. It's right. just, it's there. Yeah. And if we can take that attitude mm -hmm. that it's there for a reason yeah. and not be yeah. judging either way, right. but be curious and learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, that applies to ourselves as well. It applies to ourselves as well. And I think that maybe we didn't grow up in a family like that. I know yeah. I didn't as a child in the 50s. Mm -hmm. My parents were not leaning into feelings that were uh, in their mind negative. Mm -hmm. They were trying to go to your room until you can come out with a happy face. So it was like that. Mm -hmm. But I think we can really as parents lean into the feelings and thereby increase our own awareness of our own emotional literacy. Mm -hmm. So it's about you know validating and acknowledging a feeling mm -hmm. in a child to really make sure that they, you know, even if you don't agree with it, mm -hmm. you don't have to agree to validate and acknowledge. But you, you say this is here for a reason. Right. Let me understand and let me help yeah. you understand yeah. and for ourselves as well exactly right